Welcome to FootballGamePlan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emory Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you our NFL Week 6 preview between the Detroit Lions and the Cleveland Browns. Now let's take a look at some keys to victory for both teams, starting with the Lions. Execution is key for the Lions offense to go. They definitely have the weapons to beat any team in the National Football League. And when you look at what they have to do versus Cleveland, the backs and the tight ends will be vital for team success on offense. They have to be able to calm the pressure down with the running game, also with the backs out in the flats. And you have to be able to control the middle of the field versus a team that runs a 3-4 defense with your tight end. So tight end play and running back play are key for the Lions to have success this week in Cleveland. And on defense, I would try to force Brandon Wheaton to make quick decisions. You want to send extra at him, whether it be a linebacker, a cornerback, maybe even a safety. Try to send extra to force a quick pass so you can rally up and make the tackle. And I would also get physical with Josh Gordon. We saw last week versus the Bills, he tends to struggle getting off bump press. That could also help you slow up the timing, which would allow you to get more pressure on Brandon Wheaton back there in the pocket. Now let's move over to the Browns in this ball game, and they're riding a three-game winning streak because of their offensive multiplicity, they're dominating on defense, and they're playing great special teams. So they're winning in every facet of the game, and that's why they're successful right now. When we look at the offensive side of football, I look at these guys to come into this ball game versus Detroit, utilizing more spread sets to make Brandon Wheaton that much more comfortable in the pocket. And on defense, I would stay active with the wide receivers of the Detroit Lions. They love to spread the field. You want to throw off that timing, and when you throw off their timing, that's when Matt Stafford starts to panic that's when he starts to get inaccurate that's when you can find yourself picking off passes or tipping passes at the line of scrimmage or even getting him on the ground with sacks so i look for the browns to get more aggressive versus the wide receivers of the detroit lions this week the passing game for the detroit lions has to have a better game this week versus the cleveland browns and i'm going to show you how they can expand that browns pass defense and also put the linebacker in the bind creating a two-on-one high-low situation, and it's all about expanding the field, making the Browns cover every quadrant of the field. You see we have the receivers at the top of the numbers on both sides. We widen out that defense, and we also have the receiver. Let's put him on the hash. That's important, and what we're going to do, we're going to high-low the uh, linebacker on the weak side, and we're also going to have the running back read the cornerback as well. So here's how we're going to high-low him, but first let's go backside and see, show you what we got. We have your built-in hot read with your quick hit smash concept because we're running him on the corner route, up the hash, breaking to the corner, drawing the safety, hopefully drawing a lot of coverage this way. You're going to have your tight end who is tight to the line of scrimmage, one by two, one yard down, two yards over. We're going to bring him underneath. He's running the crosser. He's also your built-in hot read. Hopefully, we're going to get this linebacker to squeeze this crosser because we have the receiver coming over top. Now, versus zone, he's gonna settle down. Versus man, he's gonna keep running. It puts this linebacker in the bind because the linebacker will notice this guy is coming over. And you can easily find out if it's man or zone if you're gonna see this corner running with this guy so you know you have the crosser, you know you have this guy running across the field, but you also have the running back stepping up, checking blitz first, and running the wheel route. Why? Because if this cornerback is sitting in zone, you just open up this opportunity for this receiver that's coming across the field. And if he's in man, you know you have Reggie Bush down the sideline, and he's just like a receiver when he's running a pattern. So I think that's how the Detroit Lions can get that passing going by creating a high-low situation. Weak side with the linebacker putting two guys in his area and forcing him to make a choice. Hopefully the one he chooses will be the wrong one. The Browns can play games versus the Detroit Lions on offense by simply counting the box and counting the safeties. You see right here how simple it is. You see two safeties back deep in your basic shotgun spread set. You have the tight end on this side, hopefully keeping a strong safety on this side of the formation. You see two safeties back deep, you check to a run play. Why? Because you have numbers advantage in the blocking game. You have five blockers going against one, two, three, four, five defenders. That tells me you want to run the football. Your tackle kicks out the end. Guard blocks the tackle. Center works up, try to get the backer block. Running back off the shotgun draw is hopefully running to daylight. Now let's say if Detroit wants to bring the safety close to the box, kick the linebacker inside, put the safety right there over the slot. Now you move the free safety to the middle of the field and you have a one safety look. So you're probably going to get cover three or cover one. So what you want to do, you want to bring your tight end now over and settle him down over the middle of the field. You're built in hot read. You take the running back, you run him out into the flat, hopefully creating some confusion between the backer and the strong safety. And you have your curl right there with the one-on-one uh, -on -one opportunity with the cornerback. 
and on the back side you're bringing your curl out combination here so that's one way you can count the box if you're the Cleveland Browns. You see two safeties deep, you run. You see one safety deep, you check to a pass, and hopefully that'll help you move the football down the field versus the Detroit Lions. The X Factor for the Lions will be their quick passing game. Can they move the football with a quick pass versus a Browns defense that does a great job in applying pressure? Stafford won't have all day to throw the football, so he's gonna have to get rid of it quick, and they're gonna have to excel in a short to intermediate passing game. The X Factor for the Browns will be their interior offensive line that has gotten better over the last three weeks. And this defensive line of the Lions is a lot like what you saw last week versus Buffalo. Very good interior defensive linemen. So they're going to have to hold their own versus Indomitian Sue and Nick Fairley in order to be successful. Now here are some coaching points for both teams in this ball game. For Detroit, you have to hit your quote unquote free throws. That's the quick passing game. We talked about that earlier. And I would go with more inside zone versus this Browns defense. They can run a football with Reggie Bush. You spread the field, run inside zone, you can have some success. And delayed blitzes versus Brandon Whedon could be successful. Here's a guy that tends to hold the football a little bit too long. So those linebackers on delayed green dog blitzes have an opportunity to get there and put them on the ground. And for the Browns in this ballgame, you want to be the steel water Browns. You want to make everything on offense look like Oklahoma State. That's when Brandon Whedon was at his best. Spread the field, allow him to find the individual matchups and take advantage. And I will go overload pressure versus Matt Stafford. Here's a guy that can get rid of the football quickly, but he will throw into trap defense so you can overload with the zone blitz on the other side and force him into a bad decision. And you have to continue playing excellent special teams. That right there is a game changer for any football team. And the Browns have done a great job so far this season in doing that. I like the Browns in this ball game. This is a very good matchup between two teams that are heading in the right direction. And I believe the Browns defense does match up very well versus the passing game of the Detroit Lions. Now that 3-4 defense is a tough defense to throw the football against because you don't know where that fourth or fifth guy is coming from. So it forces the quarterback to hold the football just a little bit too long. And that's what causes them to get sacked. So I like the Browns defense to win this ball game for them. And you're looking at a team in Cleveland that is young, they're believing in themselves and they expect to win ball games. So this is a good football team moving forward as is the Detroit Lions. But I do think the Browns take care of business at home. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Lion fan forums and Brown fan forums for always showing football game plan support.